Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Appreciate you tuning in once again. So I figured we'd flip flop around today. I did some cleaning over the weekend, and I figured, you know what, I'm gonna I'm gonna try this corner out for a little bit. I got four corners to work with here, so I figure I'll migrate around and uh, get a different view. You know, I get a different view, you get a different view. It's a win-win for everybody. So I figured, might as well just change it up a little bit. Why not? So I'm not sure what day I'm gonna put this video up. Today, tomorrow, the next day. So on December 7th, Pearl Harbor Day, is my wife's birthday. So Kelly, happy birthday. I love you. And I appreciate everything you do for me. And I appreciate your support on the channel. And everything I do out here and give me time and grace for it. Thank you for that. So once again, happy birthday. Um, that's awesome. So moving on, I got a shop card. I got a shop card from Adam from Sodak Scale Models. Adam, I appreciate the card, my man. I appreciate the words on the back. And if you guys have not been to Adam's channel, I suggest you go check him out and give him a like. Give him a sub if you haven't done already. Go check it out. You guys know what to do. He's got some pretty good builds going, and he's got a good channel going on over there. So, um, real good guy to watch. I, I enjoy it. And Adam also sent me some extras. I like extras. Got me a sticker. I love it when you guys do the stickers. I know a lot of you guys do the stickers. That's really cool. I got to get on that bandwagon. I got to do that. And Adam, it's really cool that you did it in the shape of the state of South Dakota. Um, that's pretty cool. That will definitely stick out amongst the others. And um, that's that's a neat idea. I like that. So moving on, speaking of channels, I was talking to Rob Gray over at Time Machine Scale Models. Um, another channel, if you guys have not been over to check out, check this channel out as well. I'll put both the descriptions in the link below. Uh, we are both working on the USACC Plymouth build, and we are doing actually the same kit, the same box art kit. Uh, we are doing the classic cruiser job here. It looks like a classic cruiser, doesn't it? We're rocking the dog dish hubcaps and everything. I'd love to have this car sit in my garage. Um, so anyways, in this kit, they give you one Plymouth decal, and their suggestion is to put in the back window. Well, my very first car was a 63 Plymouth two-door Savoy. Slant six, one barrel, three speed on the tree, with like a 277 gear in the back or something. It wouldn't get you there very fast, but it sure got you good gas mileage, I tell you that much. So, anyways, I had to dig a picture out of mine and I'll show you guys because I wanted to I want to put this on my, my car, and that's what I got a hold of Rob for. So this was my first car. That's my 63 63 Plymouth two-door Savoy I used to have. Back in the day, and of course, it's one of those cars I wish I would have kept. So later in life, the car and I put a that big wedge block 318 in it with the two barrel and 727 push button. Change the axle out to a 323 posi. Oh, I thought I had the world. <sighs> She's mean. It was actually pretty cool. Um, like I say, sold it. I had to think for like 13 years. And anyways, I want to put that on the back. So I was down at the Detroit car show. Wow, I was down at the. Detroit at the Detroit model show. I guess it was like a car show, right? Um, and I was specifically looking for the 70 Plymouth Superbird because I knew, I knew in that kit, they had two sets of decals in there. A set of white Plymouth decals and a set of black Plymouth decals for the quarter panel. I, I didn't buy the kit specifically for that, kind of yes, no, but I really wanted to build a kit anyways. I built it a long time ago and I just wanted to do another one. Um, but anyways, I wanted the white decals out of it to put on my car. Tried them out, they were very milky. I mean, because it's an older kit, it just didn't look good. So I tried to take the decal and wipe it real good and all that. And I thought, it turned out really nice afterwards. I put it on the car. I thought, I don't plan on clear coating this. And I thought, ah, maybe I should put some Microsoft on just to seal the deal, you know. And, oh, that was a bad idea. I put that on there and it's like, ah, it was like pouring gas on a bug. I mean, it just freaked out and started twisting and peeling off everything in the back. So, anyways, so I got a hold of Rob and I asked him if he's using the decal out of his kit because I had one out of my kit. And he says, no, I'm not using it. So, Rob, I appreciate that, man. I got that in the mail the other day. So I'm going to put that on there and put it to use. Now I get mine done because I need to get it done because I put the pro in procrastination because deadline's coming up on that and I got a ways to go yet. So this will give me a push to get it going. So I got to get that kit done. So speaking of kits, because uh, like I say, I'm pushing everything in the middle of everything else. I'm working on the 69 Cougar, the green and color Cougar. And 
Uh, my bumpers looked horrible on that thing. The chrome was all like yellowed and you know, all the plastic was showing through the chrome. And I figured, you know what, I'm gonna strip these down and I'll figure a way to do this and paint. So I can't take credit for this. Uh, I watched a video, uh, one of you guys' channels, and I apologize. I tried finding the video and who put this up. Um, like I said, I apologize. I'm sorry for that. Um, I'm not sure who put up. But anyways, they used the Molotov Chrome 10, the liquid chrome that we all love and cherish. We all use. And if you guys don't use this, I highly recommend getting one. They sell these, like Hobby Lobby sells them any hobby store, anything like that. They're like seven, eight bucks, maybe $9, I'm not sure. Um, and they last forever. So anyways, uh, took one of those apart, dumped it in a jar, one of these bad boys here, and dumped it in the airbrush. And I painted my bumpers just as the individual did, the gentleman did on his channel. Um, and they turned out pretty nice. So here is the back bumper for that Cougar. That is airbrushed with the Molotov Chrome pen dumping it out. So it turned out pretty nice. I kind of like it. The only thing, it, it did haze a little bit on the bottom. Now I did primer this, so I don't know if that had something to do with it or if I just put it on a little too heavy because I did spray it on a little couple extra coats. Um, but I might try to shoot it again. I still got to do the wheels, so maybe I'll hit it one more time and see if it does. But if not, I still like the looks of it because to me, that actually looks nice. I think it looks good even with that little hazing on it because it looks more realistic. Because some of the chrome, you know, in these kits, it almost looks toyish, you know, just not realistic looking. That to me looks really realistic. It almost looks like the chrome that you get out of some of those kits from the 60s, you know, those older box kits. Almost looks something like that. So I'm going to do the wheels and uh, I'll take you over the bench and I'll show you my process on it um, and go from there. So, like I say, whoever put that video up, please, if you're watching this, Put your link down below your, in the comments, uh, your name, your channel, whatnot. And uh, like I say, I'll, I'm going to give credit where credit's due because you did a really good job on that. And I suggest you guys go over and watch that if you haven't done already. Um, and hopefully my next video, uh, if he comments on it, I will put a link in there for that. And you guys can go check his channel out as well. So uh, once again, I appreciate that. That was a cool idea. I saw that and I thought, that is the coolest thing I ever saw. I got to try it. And it works really good. So... Thank you for that tip on putting that up, and uh, I'll show you my version of it, um, doing it, uh, like say, and we'll go from there. So let me take you over to the bench, and I'll show you taking that apart, and we'll go from there.
like I say, all said and done, these are my two bumpers. So I think they turned out really nice. Like I say, I was using the Molotov pen. Like I say, a little hazing on them, not too bad. But I think they turned out pretty good, and they got that kind of nice realistic look to them. So we're going to get the black painted on this and give it a little wash in the center. And we'll see what it looks like. Like I say, I might give these another shot yet. I'm not sure. We're going to see. We'll see how they work. But other than that, all right, guys. I appreciate you guys checking out the channel. And um, uh, stay tuned on this, and we'll see what this looks like next time around. And we'll get another shot of this. So once again, I appreciate you guys watching and uh, following the build on this. You guys have a good one, and we'll see you next time around. Thanks for watching.